Assalamu alaikum dear students. Uh, so today we have got another problem. Actually this is a problem of permutation and combination. And in the question uh, you can see uh, three coins are placed in a 4x4 grid. So if you want to draw a 4x4 grid, uh, how can you draw? Actually, let's uh, draw the 4x4 grid first according to the question. So let's say this is a 4x4 grid. That means so there will be four columns and four rows. One, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four. So this is the four by four grids. That means uh, we have four boxes uh, in lengthwise and four boxes in a heightwise or breadthwise. You can say. So, and uh, if the probability that two coins are neither in the same row nor column. So what is row and what is column? So for your better understanding, uh, I am telling you that these are the columns so if you draw uh, if you consider this box this box and this box these uh, these four boxes are in the same column and on the <coughs> on the horizontal way these are the uh, rows that means this box this box this box and this box these four boxes uh, are in the same row so this is row number one two three and four and this is the column number one two three and four so if you put a uh, one coin here that is it is in the first row uh, first row and first column if you put a coin here that is in the second row second column if you put a coin uh, here okay so let's say here that is in the fourth column second row i think you are clear about uh, the concept of row and column now okay so remove the marking here okay now I draw the draw that line now you need to find you need to ensure that if you put two coins in the in this grid that is four times four grid uh, you have to ensure that uh, two coins are neither in the same row or column okay and you have to express the probability in terms of a by b and then find out the value of a plus b so at first you have to find out the probability then you have to express in co prime numbers then you have to add the actual uh, actual uh, denominator and numerator okay so can you please tell me how many uh, boxes are here a total of uh, i guess uh, four times four that is a total of 16 boxes one two three four five six so total of 16 boxes and we have uh, three coins okay we have three coins how many ways actually you can uh, uh, put those three coins in these uh, 16 boxes how many total ways are there so there uh, you can uh, keep the th keep that uh, third uh, three coins in the 16 uh, boxes in number of 16 c3 number of ways so if you calculate the value of 16 c3 uh, you will get uh, 5 6 uh, 0 I think the value of 16 c3 is 560 you can check the calculation uh, so what is the calculation so the ncr calculation is n factorial divided by n minus r factorial times uh, r factorial okay so just put the value of n as 16 and r as 3 you'll get uh, 560 now this is our uh, pro this is our all possible cases like all all cases and we have to find out the provable case uh, or favorable cases as well so these are the possible cases possible cases uh, five six zero right possible cases five six zero and on the upper side you need to find out the uh, our favorable case so what are the favorable case how can actually you ensure that uh, two coins are not in the same row or same column so in this case you can actually use the pigeonhole principle so that will be very easy for you so if you uh, consider three boxes for uh, three coins and if you consider for the assigned boxes so the boxes are here assigned boxes uh, for first coin you can actually put uh, the first coin in any of those boxes right any of those 16 boxes you can randomly put any any file that is you can put the first coin in 16 different ways right you can put the first coin in 16 different ways so let's uh, put the first coin uh, anywhere in the box so let's say the coin is uh, here okay 
so if the coin is here that means you cannot uh, keep the second coin in the same row or column so what is the row so this is the column and and this is the row for the uh, for this coin or the or the first coin so you cannot uh, put any coin or keep any coin in this in this column and in this row so well, how many boxes are left there is one two three four five six seven eight nine so there are uh, nine number of uh, different ways that you can keep the second coin so uh, to ensure that, uh, the, that these two coins are not in the same row or column so if you uh, keep the first coin uh, except in this box uh, if you put the first coin in this box that uh, this box or here or here anywhere you will get uh, nine boxes after crossing out the uh, same column and same group the same thing the same result will come i guess and after keeping the second coin uh, so so let's say uh, put the second coin anywhere of out of those nine boxes let's keep it uh, here so this is the second coin so if you keep the second coin here so you have to uh, again cross out the same uh, column so this is the row and this is the column so how many boxes are left now one two three four so there are uh, more four boxes left so you can keep the last coin in any of those four boxes so you can keep here here or anywhere so there are four different ways you can keep the uh, last coin so total number of ways is 16 times 9 times 4 so what is the value of 16 times 9 times 4 uh, i think you will get uh, 16 times 9 times 4 okay 16 times 9 times 4 the value of 16 times 9 times 4 is 576 this is 576 now you have to think another way so let's consider that uh, this is the first coin this is the second coin and let's say this is the third coin since all these coins are same so you are actually double counting something so if you place the uh, uh, just mark it at first with a number so different color so i want to take the white color so this is the white color right so let's say this is the first coin this is the second coin and this is the third coin now if you keep the a third coin in in the first uh, in the in place of the first coin or the first coin in place of second coin or if you interchange those you will actually uh, get the same thing right you can keep it anywhere there will not be any change so we are double counting the number of ways that you can rearrange those three coins so how many ways you can rearrange the the three coins this is 3 factorial so we just need to uh, divide the 576 with 3 factorial after dividing it you will get uh, 96 i guess uh, 576 divided by 6 uh, 69 uh, 44 uh, 36 36 so this is uh, 96 so this is our favorable case and uh, this is our favorable case and it, it will ensure that two coins are neither in the same row nor same column okay so this is our favorable case and this is the all the possible cases so to find out the probability uh, we will just uh, divide 96 by 560 this is our all possible cases this is the uh, favorable cases now you have to uh, express as a by b so this is a by b but uh, you have to also ensure uh two coins in the same row or column can be expressed as a by b then find out the a uh, find out the value of a plus b now if you do some uh, crossing here uh, you will get uh, actually 6 by uh, 35 okay so divide by 16 so if you divide 6 by 16 then the number 96 you will get 6 and you will get 35 4 5 6 0 so in terms of expressing in terms of a by b you will you are getting 6 by 35 so this is equals to a by b now can you please tell me what is the value of a and b so a is 6 and b is 35 so a plus b it should be uh, 35 plus 6 this is equals to 41 so this is our answer of this question i think you get this idea and if you have the concept of uh, combination how actually you can uh, use combination and pigeon on principle you can easily solve this problem so there should not be any problem uh, further uh, if you have any more questions regarding the regarding this uh, problem you can actually let me know in the comment section we will try to uh, reach you out uh, as soon as possible so thank you very much for staying with us and hope to see you in the next video inshallah